Now that the election is behind us, we must focus attention on the urgent priorities which prompted the election. First, to keep ourselves safe from the virus, and second, to get the economy back on track. This is what Singaporeans elected the PAP to do and what we will be judged by in the next election. This is fundamental to the PAP's raison d'etre. It's the reason, it's the purpose of our existence as a party. We began as a party of workers and unions, striving for the uplift of the people, for all the people, and especially of the vulnerable ones amongst us. Hence, we build a democratic society based on justice and equality. And we will always stay true to that purpose. Never forget, we are the PAP, the People's Action Party. We are not a party of special interest groups or particular communities. We represent the people of Singapore. We are a party of purpose, of conviction, of action. We've made life better for millions of Singaporeans, and we will constantly pursue a more just and equal society. And we are ever determined to walk al alongside every Singaporean, striving towards a brighter future together. Our mission is clear. The PAP is here to secure Singapore's long-term success. Yes, G2020 matters very much. But for us, SG100 and SG200 matter even more. We must continue to govern on our values of honesty, meritocracy, multiracialism and self-reliance. We must never stop building a vibrant, fair and just society where everyone can be developed to their fullest potential regardless of their background and starting points in life. Especially in difficult times, we must be honest with Singaporeans about difficult choices we must make to progress as one. The values that the PAP stands for are what distinguishes us from other parties. Singaporeans have again given the PAP the mandate to take Singapore forward in a more challenging and contested future. The PAP must put the survival and success of Singapore and the well-being of Singaporeans foremost in everything we do. Comrades, to continue earning the right to lead, we must win over the hearts and minds of our people. We must continue to engage all Singaporeans and persuade them on the choices that we need to make and work in partnership with our people to put plans into action and action into outcomes. Our values and conviction will steer us through this. this. Singapore and Singaporeans will emerge stronger from this crisis.